Hey, Bulls and Bears, how's everybody doing? I hope you are well. Back here with another dose of economic reality. My name is JJ, and you are watching Bull Boom Bear Bus. We have a lot of pretty important news, pretty big topics we want to get into today. The economic collapse is continuing. The propping up of this economy is in panic mode, what many would call crisis mode. And I'm going to talk about what that means here in just a few minutes. The economy rescue is in crisis mode right now. The U.S. consumer is very close to being tapped out. Many people already tapped out, living on borrowed credit, borrowed time also. And, uh, you know, this whole house of cards is nearing the end as far as I can see. Now, many people are out there saying that this economy is going to be propped up no matter what, because we're less than one year until the uh, selection or presidential uh, selection coming up at the end of 2024. And they're saying that it's going to be nothing but money printing. Uh, many people predict dropping of interest rates coming up here in the next few months because they know uh, the consumer is all but tapped out right now, right? So what do I mean by crisis mode? Well, look at all the rescue programs still in effect right now that were implemented in 2020 because of the health crisis. We still have this emergency funding program also that uh, was started back in March that was supposed to be temporary just to get through the period where the banks were failing. Well, we just had another bank fail here, what, a week ago. And uh, this emergency funding program, also known as a backdoor bailout, is still in practice right now. And in fact, the amount of money needed to keep the banking system from imploding is actually increasing. If you look at a chart, I mean, we showed that chart here, what, a week or two ago. Now we've got this other report here. The Treasury borrowing is running at crisis era levels right so everywhere you look if you really dig into the information uh things are really starting to fall apart and they're needing more and more uh, duct tape to keep this thing from falling apart uh, to keep it from collapsing but you wouldn't notice it if you looked around if you just looked around at the way people are spending money if you look at the malls the stadiums are still packed full of people uh spending money a lot of it's borrowed money but just from uh, someone not really researching what's behind all this, you wouldn't think anything at all was wrong. And in fact, uh, you know, a lot of these people are going to be shockingly surprised when they do see the, uh, the downturn. Uh, or will it just be all propped up? Will the stock market be propped up with uh, easy money? You look at the 10-year treasury, some big buyer of debt uh, entered this market and took the 10-year yield from 5% down to what 4.55 percent i have to look at the end of the day number here but it was a big drop somebody with big money and it had to be a central bank buyer in my opinion uh bringing the rate down that much that quickly well let's get into some other news here that we wanted to kind of keep everybody uh on top of so we know uh, what's going to be happening here now let's get into this here let's talk about the crashing prices of electric vehicles and i would say this qualifies as a crash uh, listen to this data here. Listen to these numbers out of Bloomberg. Uh, the electric vehicle price cuts have gotten very, very dramatic. Uh, in fact, people are finally waking up to see the cost of owning these electric vehicles and the huge inconvenience. Yet they're telling people that uh, everybody needs to switch over to electric vehicles. But the numbers speak for themselves. Here's uh, the price cut here that we want to start with here. And this comes out of Tesla here. And they've slashed prices for the Model X SUV from the price tag of $120,990, basically $121,000, probably $130 after you're out the door with everything else, but $121,000 basically, down to $79,990. So basically $80,000, folks. That is over a $40,000 price cut in the SUV, the Model X Tesla SUV. Uh, pretty shocking. Can you imagine being $40,000 underwater um, just maybe a year or two after you bought your vehicle? That's uh, That's got to be hard to swallow. I would be giving back the keys back to the lender on that vehicle. And this doesn't look to be just about people realizing the actual cost of owning an SUV. A lot of this has to do with the consumer being tapped out. Listen to this. Uh, third quarter earnings call out of Tesla here. CEO said, quote, a large number of people are living paycheck to paycheck and with a lot of debt. 
Uh, they have got credit card debt, mortgage debt. Uh, we have to make our cars more affordable. So there you go. There's an example of how the consumer being tapped out or close to being tapped out um, is affecting the cost of these cars. Now, when do we see this in the rest of the economy for other assets that are, people are expecting to fall? Homes, uh, non-electric vehicles. Um, normally, when you see people unable to afford things, prices should correct, prices should come down. But we're seeing so much propping up of these uh, markets right now, uh, so much price manipulation. Look at the action in the stock market recently. We know there's a huge buyer in stocks. A lot of it is corporate buybacks. Uh, so get this, companies have a lot of debt. Most companies carry debt. Uh, but instead of paying off the debt, they're buying back their own stock. It's a lot of companies. Uh, if I look through a, a list of companies, it seems to be most companies are doing stock buybacks still, even though they're carrying debt. Uh, and there's a lot of people walking away with some nice paychecks. Also, we have the housing bubble that's finally busted or went burst, however you want to put it, popped. The, bu the bubble has popped. Uh, I think so. When you look at the year over year prices, uh, also we have headlines like this recent headline out of fortune. The housing market is starting to crack. Sellers are cutting prices at record levels. Quote, you can no longer price based off of where sales were, unquote. So this slowdown in sales, we see sales at a 20 plus year low is finally translating into home sellers cutting their prices. So as we go into the end of the year, it's likely to worsen because the slowest time of the year is the winter months. And then the true sign, the true telltale is going to be in the spring of 2024 when you normally see the market come back to life and buyers re-enter the market. Uh, if we don't see buyers re-enter the market, sellers are going to be in a much tougher position by this coming spring. And that's going to be uh, kind of the rubber meets the road type of thing. Uh, for the housing market. Also, something else that's uh, been noted here recently is the huge drop off in the birth rate. And if we look at millennials, they're so strapped financially, the birth rate now hit a record low. This is out of the Washington Post here. The US birth rate languishes at its lowest level in history. So when our friend and colleague suggested running the numbers, um, the, answer, the number one answer basically was, financial uh, financial ruin or financial concerns amongst people as the reason why they don't want to have a family. People can barely afford just themselves right now. Just single people just trying to get by is very, very difficult. Uh, people look at the cost of these things. They're looking at what it costs to raise a family. And if they can't even support themselves, how are they going to afford a family? That's what a lot of people are saying right now, especially younger people, people getting out of school. Uh, they're looking at the cost of living. They're looking at the job availability. Uh, they're looking at their income versus what it costs just to keep a roof over your head and to keep yourself fed. And they're saying, no, thanks. I can't afford it. Um, you know, who wants to bring a, a person into this situation where you don't know if you're going to get your next meal or not because you're swiping credit cards just to keep your belly full. Uh, so pretty amazing, you know, that this has uh, gotten to this point. But uh, here we are. And, uh, you know, we're seeing signs everywhere. So you have to get the big picture. You have to look at the big picture, take all this data into consideration. When you think about what you're going to do, what kind of plans are you making? Are you going to start a family? Are you going to go out and buy a house right now? Are you going to buy a car, get a car loan? Or are you going to kind of sit back and wait uh, for things to unfold here? Because we're at a very critical point here in the economy and in this financial system. Also, in a big sign for lending demand weakening. Let's talk about what Citigroup came out with here recently. Out of CNBC, Citigroup considers deep job cuts. And the CEO there says this is called Project Bora Bora. And it's gonna be up to 10% of the labor force focusing on several different business areas of the company. And with executives at the company, it's gonna be more than 10% of executives being released here. Uh, now, this is a huge employer here with Citigroup employing about 240,000 people. Uh, so 10% of that, you're looking at, um, let's take off a zero. You're looking at about 24,000 job cuts just 
with Citigroup alone. And where are these people going to go work at? Are they going to go work from the bank to fast food? Well, here in California, you're at least making twenty dollars an hour minimum wage. So maybe people come to California to work at um, Jack in the Box. Well, that's the one I can think of right now. Jack in the Box. What else do we have out here? We have uh, what's that good place? Pretty good burgers for fast food. Um, in and out. In and out burger. That's that's pretty good burger. Doesn't actually taste like fast food. In and out burger. Actually, they they pay pretty good even before the requirement to pay twenty dollars an hour to fast food workers here in California. Anyways, where are these bankers going to work? Uh, all the other people that are going to get laid off with the slowdown, uh, the electric vehicle car salesman. Where are they going to work at? Um, where is the demand at? Uh, are they going to pump out more stimulus checks? Are they going to keep this thing propped up? Well, we're going to find out. Uh, but you're going to be ready. I'm going to be ready. Uh, we're going to be ready together. And we're going to watch this thing unfold. Grab your popcorn, folks. It's going to get very interesting. If it's not interesting enough already, look at everything else that's already going on. It's going to get even more interesting and more uh, wild and crazy. You know it. Uh, I know it. So let's get ready. Oh, by the way, I didn't sit as close in this video. I had a couple complaints that I was too big on the screen. So I backed my camera up a bit here. Hope it's a little bit better here and I'm not so much in your face like I was in previous videos. Bye, everybody. Keep stacking.